Hi everyone, thanks for joining my video. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section. We're going to be discussing Yasha Hime episode 11. I don't know if it's just me, but guys, it feels like there are a lot of fillers right now. I am patiently waiting week after week um, for some hints, and I, I get it. There are a lot of questions, you can't give it all up right away. You have to build character development. Totally understood. And, and I will say, like, the things I want to discuss about this episode specifically, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on the episode, is Setsuna. So, we ended that last episode where Setsuna was kind of getting emotional. She felt very similar to Ninka and Kinka. And in this episode, she's remembering that and playing the violin as it kicks off again. And by the end of the last episode, she was playing the violin as well. So I think this is meant to kind of transition that this is still her story and we're still focusing on her and her character. Uh, I really like that because I think it's important to rotate and focus on characters respectively. She's a really important character. So the girls are rather bouncy as usual. They kind of just jump right into it. They don't really do too much explaining. Basically, there's a water demon, someone in the pond, and we find out later that it's a serpent, and actually the pond itself is a demon, so it's two demons. Um, in this, we kind of move on and we kind of learn a little bit more about the twins, so we learn that they've inherited some of the powers from Shomru in terms of immunity, so Toa is immune to um, poison mist, and Setsuna is immune to venom. So I think that makes sense. I think they're trying to divide up the powers to not make anyone too strong because quite frankly, Inuyasha slowly got really strong and he had um, Toga's bloodline. So you would think the girls would be somewhere in the same strength range because they have Sashomaru's bloodline. And you could arguably say that they should be stronger because Sashomaru technically surpassed his father. So. It makes sense that they would inherit some really valuable powers. Um, it's interesting in how they kind of split them up. But basically the twins kind of take down these two demons and it kind of ends with Setsuna again reflecting. She's feeling sympathy for actually the two kids that are nearby to the pond because they lost their father to the pond and the serpent demon. She plays her violin, which is similar to the biwa, which is an instrument that those kids' father played. So you see her slowly become emotional. But it's funny because I was trying to celebrate the win and Setsuna is definitely not having it. She's like, lay off, chill. Which is funny, so she's slowly becoming more emotional but she's still pretty choosy on who she's emotional with. And she hasn't fully let Toa in. And Toa is just waiting for it. Another thing that I thought was interesting was Moroha kinda didn't do anything this whole episode. And quite frankly, I get that she's a quarter demon but she's also got spiritual powers. And she's also really smart, and she's funny, so I was a little bit confused because I feel like she's kind of been on the back burner. She should totally be way more stronger. I mean, she's got demonic powers and she has spiritual powers. I feel like there's got to be a little bit more give and take with her character, so since it's not happening now, I'm expecting it to happen later since we're giving Setsuna a lot of time. So I would love to hear your thoughts. Basically, I think this was another filler, but it was also a way to tap into Setsuna's character. And I personally love Setsuna. She's pretty much my favorite. Like by default, I kind of have to like Toa because she's the main character, but Setsuna's it for me. Now, obviously I'm biased because I love Sashomaru and I'm more into Sashomaru than I am into Inuyasha. And I know a lot of people love Muraha, but twins are definitely for me. And I love learning more about Setsuna. So overall, I would give it a 6.5 because I like to see character development so it's like if we're not going to get any hints about the past and what the hell is going on, at least we got to know the characters more on an emotional level and I appreciated that. So guys, what did you think about this episode and let me know what you thought about my opinions, I would love to hear yours. Um, please like, subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section.